Hello and welcome to New Parents in Training. So today we got this Baby Brezza One Step Sterilizer Dryer Advanced. So today we're gonna to test out how fast it is to do the process. Let's unbox this first. Instruction, here's the product itself. So here are all the parts. You have the lid, the upper basket, the accessory tray, the sterilized base, and the lower basket. Now some of the other stuff that came with all those orange things uh, are for the bottles. So what you need to do is just place them inside the lower basket. Like so. Yeah, it's very easy to place them. And also they provide you with a tongue. Now the tongue is uh, pretty neat, uh, the way that you're gonna place it uh, when you need to use it, right, you can just pop it right out for either the accessory tray or the upper basket. You can place it right here. So this way, it's easy to take the tray out and pop it over and then you can just um, use the tongue to grab anything that's hot. If at any time you need to change the filter, there's a HEPA filter right underneath the sterilized base and it's held down by a screw. So unscrew it and take out the filter and pop in the new one. Let me go clean all this up and then we're gonna test it with actual milk bottles. All right, so this sterilizer and dryer is modular, meaning that you can kind of have a combination of different ways of doing sterilizing and drying. So this is one way with everything inside here. Now you have the lower basket here, you have the accessory tray, and then you have the upper basket, and then the lid. In this combination, you can only put small bottles in. So case to point, if you put a tall bottle, you're definitely not able to put your accessory tray in. So therefore, you can only use some small bottles, like so. Oh, okay. Here's the first issue that I see. Now even with the small bottle, like this Dr. Brown, once I put it in there, the tray will not sit level. The way that this tray is gonna be sit inside the lower basket is there's a little portion that's sticking out, kind of hold this tray in place. So it will not go lower, or you cannot, uh, you cannot raise it either. Now let me try something even smaller. So this is the Komotomo. So this will definitely fit because uh, it's much smaller. And then after you put a small bottle in, then you can put whatever the accessory, uh, such as the pacifier, the nipple, or the, the ring for the bottle itself. So now you can put even more stuff on top of here. The second combination that you can do is the lower basket with the upper basket. Now this is useful when you are doing the tall bottles. And whatever the accessory came with the tall bottle, you can put on top and sterilize and dry in that way. Third combination is using the lower basket with the accessory tray. So this is perfect for small bottles. Put a small bottle in, and then you put the accessory tray, and whatever the accessory that came with the Small bottle you can put on top. Fourth combination is just strictly using the upper tray. What you do is put it here, and then just whatever accessory that you need to uh, sterilize and dry. So typically what we would use would be for the pacifiers. Put on top, put on the lid, and this is the fourth combination. This machine requires 165 ml or 5.5 ounces. If you don't have a measuring cup at home, it's totally fine. Just use one of the bottle. It will have indicator as far as how much liquid is in there. So right now I have 5.5 ounces. This is distilled water. Now one of the thing about using distilled water is there's not much of mineral in there. Uh, if you use just regular tap water, then when it will develop a scaling problem on the plate, the heating plate here. If that happens, you need to do the scaling. And it will, be, it will make the machine less effective when there are a bunch of stuff mineral on top. So anyway, try to use the swirl water if you can. If you don't, it's completely fine. 
Just use the tap water, but you do have to do the scouting. So there's a max line. Once you put the water in, it should reach to that level. And also if your bottle doesn't have a measuring level on there, what you can do is just pour water until you reach the max line. Yeah, simple as that. Lower basket can hold eight bottles, able to hold six bottles inside the bottle holder, the orange thing and then two more in between the rows. Because I'm using two of the tall bottles here, I cannot put the accessory tray inside here. So I only can use the lower basket and the upper basket. The upper basket, now I'm using to hold all the parts that uh, I've been using with the bottle as well. Now, one other thing that you should know, you should always clean all these parts before you put it in here for sterilizing and drying. This type of machine, they don't do washing for you. However, the Baby Versa has come out with a machine that can do washing. So I might gonna have to check that one out in, uh, later in the near future. But anyway, so this is what we uh, get to work with. And uh, yeah, make sure the lid is completely enclosed for the auto sterilize and drying. If you press once, it will show 30 minutes. Press again, 45, press again, and 60. Now, what that meant is after it's done sterilizing, how long you want the drying process to be. Press it once, it's 30. Press it two times, you get 45, and then press three times, you get 60 minutes of drying inside. For this one, this is the drying. Press it once, 30 minutes, 45, press again, and press again, and 60 minutes. The sterilizing portion, you cannot set a timer, but for drying portion, you can. So for the auto and drying, uh, what you are setting is just for the drying portion of it. And for sterilizing, it like, doesn't matter how many times you press, the timer will remain at zero. After three seconds, it will start running. And press the switch on and off to cancel. Uh, I just finished washing all those parts inside here. Now I'm gonna do a 30 minutes run for the drying process. And I wanna see how long the whole entire process from sterilizing to drying for 30 minutes, how long that will take. What I'm gonna do is just press once on the auto and now it's running. And so initially it's gonna do the sterilizing. I wanna see how long that will take. All right, it's already 40 seconds in and the machine you can hear is already uh, sterilizing and there's movement inside and yeah, it's getting kind of foggy inside here. Okay, so the drying process is kicking now. Uh, the whole sterilizing process took about 12 minutes and uh, 40 some odd seconds. So yeah, now the, as you can see, the fan is blowing, it's drying now. So we're gonna wait about 29 minutes. Okay, it's now completely finished. Once it's done, it will beep to indicate that it's done. Okay, so slowly remove the lid. And let me inspect to see how dry they are. Now I set this dry for 30 minutes and it seems like the accessories, they are pretty dry, really hot too. So yeah, I might need to keep the tongue outside. Don't put it in, otherwise it's gonna be hot to the touch as well. But anyway, uh, all these parts, they are dry. Yeah, they are dry. Okay, that's good. Now let's check out the bottles. Yeah, yeah. They are very dry as well. But there are some water droplets on the top of the bottle or on the bottom of it, depending on how you look at it. Uh, but inside, it's completely bone dry. And just some of the uh, droplets will, well, I guess when it's sterilizing, the droplets will get on top of the bottle here, and then it just remain there. And the bottom of the sterilized 
space, there's no more water in here. So all the water is being uh, used up. So now let's talk about the likes and dislikes. First of all, this is their advanced model, meaning that they have a previous model before this one. And that one I also have review. I put the link on top so you can go check it out. That one was more of a cylinder shape and it's not that great. Even though that one was about $30 cheaper than this current model, and yeah, but you can just stay away from that one. Secondly, is the control panel is digital. So that's a plus because you can now see exactly how long it's taking for sterilizing and drying. And also on the drying portion, they let you to change setting to from 30 minutes, 45 to 60 minutes. Now I was using the 30 minutes and it was fairly dry. So if you want to be extra, extra dry, you can do 45. I think that's, unless you have a whole lot of stuff inside, then maybe 60 minutes, but 30 minutes is good enough in my opinion. Now let's talk about the things that I don't like. First of all, this is still very pricey. So the price at, for this one is at $140. Aside from that, there's another downside with this is when it comes to short bottle, as you can see earlier, one of the module combination I tried to do was with a short bottle, with the accessory tray and with upper base. But if I use Dr. Brown, for whatever reason, Dr. Brown was just too tall for even a short bottle. So that would not work. And lastly, it's just the uh, serializing and drying portion is very average. It's not the quickest nor the slowest I have test so far. So it's very mediocre in terms of that. But based on the pricing, $140, I, like I said, I, I think there's still plenty of good uh, sterilizer and dryer out there that's much cheaper, even though they might not come with a digital gauge. But uh, if you have a budget that you want to stick in with, then perhaps go with a Philip Evan sterilizer and dryer or with a public sterilizer and dryer. Those come with very competitive price. Anyway, so this is my review of the Baby Brezza One Step Sterilized Dryer Advanced. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.